Hi there, it's Galit Gofarb and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about the benefits of consuming organic food. There was a time when almost all food that was consumed was naturally grown, uh, but since the Industrial Revolution came along with the introduction of new farming techniques and the use of synthetic chemicals, genetically modified seeds and excessive use of synthetic fertilizers, we have been growing food in such a way to mainly get rid of the insects, get rid of the weeds, and to help farmers grow more and bigger and more pretty foods. But the price we are paying for this modern agriculture is very, very big, especially on human health and also on the health of our planet. Fortunately, there are some farmers today that have chosen to grow food with organic methods. And here are six of the benefits of consuming organic food. The first one is weight loss. Yes, being cautious about introducing chemicals into your body ensures that you won't be keeping excess fat deposits on your body and you will be getting rid of them when you start a weight loss program much easier because these fat deposits actually close in on these pollutants to keep them from causing damage to the rest of the cells in your body. So they close in on them, they keep them um, covered with fat tissue and this is why our body really hesitates in releasing these fatty tissues very fast. That's why weight loss is much more difficult than weight gain. Based on research recently published in the Environmental Health publication, regular organic food consumption significantly reduces the likelihood of obesity. Number two, it's also of course better for the environment because the environment, conventionally grown food involves synthetic fertilizers, uh, chemical herbicides and synthetic pesticides. Not only do these chemicals find their way into our body, they also find their way into the environment of course. And they affect water bodies, the soils of nearby communities and they also harm the wildlife in that area as well. Organic farming is actually beneficial for biodiversity and it also uh, protects many of our resources. There's a strict limitation on the inputs of organic uh, farmers and how much they're allowed to put on their land and crop rotation which is the central feature of organic systems encourages soil health both in terms of fertility and in terms of microbial and insect activity in the soil which is very very important the worms in the in the soil uh, help to turn over the soil naturally and these keep the soil very very rich which is very very important it conserves organic farming also consumes water and consumes less energy and lessens the soil erosion which is very very common in normal agricultural systems as a side note although most organic farms use manure from organic animal farms as fertilizers some use manure from non-organic farms and this may pose a problem for the environment as the foods grown for non-organic animals rely on synthetic fertilizers which are produced in a very energy intensive process the Haber-Bosch process and are one of the primary sources of greenhouse gas emissions associated with non-organic farming okay now the third benefit of consuming organic foods is less exposure to pesticides and herbicides. Organic farmers have available to them only a limited range of mostly natural pesticides, whereas conventional agriculture uses synthetic pesticides and chronic pesticide exposure can potentially lead to neurotoxicity and affect cognitive development of children. Many studies also indicate that accumulation of pesticides in our body actually increases the risk of many diseases including breast cancer, leukemia also in children and prostate cancer. It, it also leaves pregnant women and their unborn babies very, very vulnerable to many genetic de de defects. And also there is an increase in childhood brain tumors in children that are exposed to pesticides and their mothers exposed to pesticides during pregnancy. Now another very important factor, a benefit of organic farming is that it supports the local community. And when you choose organic food, you are supporting the local farmers and their farmers instead of the money going away and 
big corporations benefiting from it. Instead, you keep it in within your own community and it supports the local farmers. Very, very important. Now, the fifth one is the really, really very, very important is that there are no GMOs in organic food, no genetically modified organisms in your food. In 2009, a report titled Who Benefits from GM Crops analyzed a lot of documentation from around the world and concluded that not a single GM crop has increased crop yields or enhanced human nutrition in any way, nor have they helped farmers with drought tolerance or salt tolerance of their crops. They stated clearly that genetically modified foods offer no advantages, not to consumers, nor to farmers, nor to the environment. Only really big farming corporations can benefit but most uh, farmers and smallholders do not benefit from genetically modified crops. Moreover, genetically modified crops have very little potential for alleviating poverty around the world and hunger. In fact, GM crops have shown to increase the need for pesticides, and r which raises the costs for farmers while causing environmental and health damage to us all. There are many potential health, health risks associated with genetically modified crops that we are only beginning to understand now. So organic agriculture forbids the use of genetically modified uh, crops. Now another benefit of organic farming is its guaranteed freshness. Organic food is harvested when it's ripe and ready to be eaten. That this guarantees that it's full of flavor and full and it's totally fresh. When you go to your local farmers market and choose organic fruits and vegetables, you know they've been harvested recently and they come straight for the farm. So to conclude, when you choose to consume organic foods, you are making the right choice, both for your body and of course for the environment. And you are also helping your local farming community and your local community uh, support itself, which is very, very important. So you are making a definitely win-win-win. It's a win-win-win situation. Um, thank you very much for watching. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more content on health-related issues. And if you want to read, go to my blog on www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.